Atomic nuclei are a combination of protons and neutrons. Protons, which carry a positive electric charge, and neutrons, which have no charge, are mutually attracted. They can couple together if they come near each other. This coupling mechanism, known as strong interaction, was clarified by Hideki Yukawa. Let's form an atomic nucleus by increasing the number of protons and neutrons one by one. The number of protons is indicated on the left axis and that of neutrons on the right. The element name of each atomic nucleus is determined by the number of protons it has. The number of atomic nuclei existing in the universe is limited. The array of all such nuclei is called the chart of the nuclides. Theoretically, the predicted number of nuclides is approximately 7,000, and the number experimentally confirmed thus far is 2,000. Among those confirmed, there are 256 stable nuclei, those that do not decay. These nuclei are located near the center of the chart of the nuclides, and the number of protons and neutrons is comparable. Nuclei other than these 256 are unstable and decay according to their own lifetimes. So, how do they decay? If there are more neutrons than protons, as is in the case of oxygen-20, one of the neutrons emits an electron and an antineutrino, changes to a proton, and forms fluorine-20. This is called electron beta decay. Fluorine-20 is also unstable. Therefore, beta decay again occurs, causing a change to neon-20. The neon-20 nucleus is stable, so no further decay occurs. On the other hand, if there are more protons than neutrons, as is in the case of magnesium-20, one of the protons emits a positron and a neutrino and changes to a neutron. Magnesium-20 then becomes sodium-20. This process is called positron beta decay. Sodium-20 is unstable and again undergoes positron beta decay, changing to stable neon-20. If the number of both protons and neutrons is too large, electrostatic repulsion between protons becomes too strong and the nucleus breaks up into smaller nuclei. The product of decay is also often an unstable nucleus, so decay continues until a stable nucleus is finally achieved. An atomic nucleus is given its element name according to the number of protons in the nucleus. And within each element, there may be different nuclides, each having a different number of neutrons. These are called isotopes. For example, all carbon isotopes have six protons, but there can be 13 different isotopes, and the number of neutrons ranges from 3 to 16. Each isotope also has a mass number, the total number of protons and neutrons, and is named according to both its element name and mass number, for example, carbon-12. If we examine the relative abundances of atomic nuclei currently in our solar system, we will see huge variations. There is a particularly large abundance of nuclei with protons or neutrons numbering 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82, and 126. These values indicate especially stable atomic nuclei and are called magic numbers.